Well, imagine a world without cars, electricity, or even supermarkets. A time when the conveniences we take for granted today were non-existent. No buzzing of city life, no glowing screens, just the raw, untamed beauty of nature. This was the reality for early humans living in prehistoric times. They lived in harmony with the land, relying on their instincts and the natural resources around them to survive. Life was a daily struggle for survival, demanding strength, ingenuity and resilience. Every day was a test of their ability to hunt for food, gather resources and protect themselves from the dangers that lurked in the wild. Let's journey back in time and explore the fascinating world of our ancient ancestors. Imagine walking in their footsteps, experiencing the challenges and triumphs they faced. Stepping back into the past, we encounter a world vastly different from our own. The contrast between the modern conveniences we enjoy today and the primitive conditions of the past is stark and humbling. The air is filled with the sounds of nature, birdsong, the rustling of leaves, and the gentle whisper of the wind through the trees. These sounds were the soundtrack of their lives, a constant reminder of the world they inhabited, and the distant roar of wild animals. These creatures were both a threat and a source of sustenance shaping the way our ancestors lived and interacted with their environment. The landscape stretches out before us, untouched and untamed. Vast expanses of wilderness, unmarked by human hands, offered both opportunity and peril. It is in this challenging yet beautiful environment that our ancestors made their home. They adapted to the harsh conditions, developing tools and techniques that would lay the foundation for human civilization. Their story is one of resilience, innovation, and the enduring human spirit. Shelter was essential for protection from the elements and predators. In the harsh and unpredictable world of early humans, finding a safe place to call home was a matter of survival. The cave provided a sanctuary where they could rest and recuperate. Early humans often sought refuge in natural formations like caves and rock overhangs. These natural shelters were abundant and offered immediate protection without the need for construction. They were nature's gift to our ancestors. These provided a basic level of protection from the rain, wind and dangerous animals. The sturdy rock walls shielded them from the elements, while the enclosed space kept them safe from predators lurking in the night. Caves offered a sense of security and community. Within these stone walls, early humans found not just shelter, but a place to bond and build relationships. The cave was more than a home, it was the heart of their social life. Families huddled together for warmth and shared stories and laughter around the crackling fire. The fire was a source of heat and light, but it also brought people together, fostering a sense of unity and belonging. Walls were adorned with paintings of animals and hunts, providing a glimpse into their daily lives and beliefs. These artworks were not just decorations, they were expressions of their experiences, hopes and spiritual beliefs, capturing the essence of their existence. Life in these ancient shelters was simple but fulfilling. Despite the challenges, early humans found joy and contentment in their close-knit communities. Their lives were intertwined with nature and their homes reflected a deep connection to the world around them. Early humans were hunter-gatherers, relying on nature to provide for their needs. They lived in small nomadic groups, constantly moving in search of food and resources. Their survival depended on their ability to hunt animals and gather edible plants. Men hunted animals for meat while women gathered fruits, nuts and roots. The men would often go on long hunting expeditions, tracking herds of animals across vast distances. Meanwhile, the women would stay closer to the camp, foraging for plants and taking care of the children. This division of labor ensured the survival of the group. Each member had a specific role to play, and their combined efforts provided a balanced diet and a stable food supply. The cooperation between men and women was crucial for the well-being of the entire tribe. Hunting was a dangerous but necessary task. The hunters had to be skilled and brave, facing the risks of injury or death from wild animals. They used primitive weapons like spears and clubs, relying on their strength and teamwork to bring down their prey. Armed with spears and clubs, they stalked large animals like mammoths and bison, 
These hunts required careful planning and coordination as well as knowledge of animal behavior and the landscape. A successful hunt could provide enough meat to feed the tribe for days or even weeks. Success meant a feast for the tribe, while failure could lead to hunger. The outcome of a hunt could determine the tribe's fate, making it a high-stakes endeavor. Celebrations after a successful hunt were a time of joy and relief, strengthening the bonds within the community. Gathering provided a more reliable source of food, with women carefully selecting plants and fruits to ensure their safety and nutritional value. They had extensive knowledge of the local flora, knowing which plants were edible and which were poisonous. This knowledge was passed down through generations, contributing to the tribe's survival and health. Despite living in a time before metalworking, early humans were incredibly resourceful. They developed tools and weapons using the materials available to them, stone, bone and wood. The hand axe, a teardrop-shaped stone tool, was a versatile tool used for chopping, cutting and digging. Scrapers were used to clean animal hides, while spear points attached to wooden shafts made hunting more efficient. These simple yet effective tools allowed them to survive and thrive in their environment.